Section 51 of Poems by Kerr, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. A Word to the Elect by Anne Bronte You may rejoice to think yourselves secure. You may be grateful for the gift divine, that grace unsought which made your black hearts pure and fits your earth-born souls in heaven to shine. But is it sweet to look around and view thousands excluded from that happiness, which they deserved at least as much as you, their faults not greater, nor their virtues less? And wherefore should you love your God the more, because to you alone his smiles are given, because he chose to pass the many o'er, and only bring the favored few to heaven? And wherefore should your hearts more grateful prove? Because for all the Savior did not die. Is yours the God of justice and of love? And are your bosoms warm with charity? Say, does your heart expand to all mankind? And would you ever to your neighbor do? The weak, the strong, the enlightened, and the blind, As you would have your neighbor do to you. And when you, looking on your fellow men, behold them doomed to endless misery, how can you talk of joy and rapture then? May God withhold such cruel joy from me. That none deserve eternal bliss I know, unmerited the grace and mercy given, but none shall sink to everlasting woe that have not well deserved the wrath of heaven. And, oh, there lives within my heart a hope long nursed by me, and should its cheering ray depart, how dark my soul would be, that as in Adam all have died, in Christ shall all men live, and ever round his throne abide eternal praise to give, that even the wicked shall at last be fitted for the skies, and when their dreadful doom is past to life and light arise. I ask not how remote the day nor what the sinner's woe, before their dross is purged away, enough for me to know, that when the clip of wrath is drained, the metal purified, they'll cling to what they once disdain, and live by him that died. End of section 51